This is a, just a little um, message to all my students uh, about the uh, logic part of the course or the uh, argument analysis part of the course. Uh, there are a few people, I've got a few emails from students, and I always get uh, emails at this point. Some students get very confused in looking at this. Some of them get nervous. Oh, this is math. I'm not good at math. Well, it's not really math, but it's stuff that underlies math. It's not. It's some some stuff that you know very well, and some stuff that you really need to learn. Uh, but I want to give a few pointers about what you should be doing and what you should not be doing. First of all, you should be taking things one step at a time. In all of my ethics courses, both my applied ethics courses and my into my ethical theory course, that is in criminal justice ethics and business ethics. And in Introduction to Ethics, I always have four units on, uh, on what I call moral reasoning, logical thinking. And in my other philosophy courses, when I get a chance to teach them, I also teach this. This, I think, is the most important skill that you have. We encounter arguments in everyday life. And the bad news is, and I can prove it to you, but I don't want to bother in this, in this short video, Everybody makes mistakes in reasoning, in understanding arguments, and arguments and reasoning play a very important role in our lives, so it's helpful if you get this stuff straight. Just a few pointers. Pointer number one, the, the, the videos go through some of this stuff, can, can be viewed as being pretty fast pace. Slow it down. Take out the notes, make copies of the PowerPoints, go through step by step slowly. Number two, the technique that many students take, that is, they're going to jump around, they're not going to do things in order, that is a big mistake. Make sure you go through each and every module, each and every video. My suggestion is, number one, Read the PowerPoint slides that the videos are explaining. Two, you might actually want to take on the, on the modules and, and all the ones that say part one, part two, and part three. That is, you're looking at one, logical understanding, part one. Um, in fact, let me go in this course to, it's in week five. Um, so the introduction to ethics has gotten a hit with this a little bit faster. Um, and we, there's logical Log uh, logically, uh, thinking logically part two, sorry, evaluating arguments and thinking logically part three, evaluate. Maybe it, what you want to do is one time go right to the bottom of the module. Now, there's not one in the, there isn't a quiz like this in, in the introduction. Go in and take that quiz and see what score you get. Now, before trying to take it, and I've limited, I, I don't know which I've limited to what, but it's about three or four tries because I don't want you to go in there and keep banging your head against the wall. And I got one email already of a student who was really trying to understand this and banging her head against the wall. In this case, it happened to be a female. And um, I went through and I did an analysis on what she was getting wrong, and it was very helpful, and it was certain concepts that she didn't get. The quizzes at the end are talking just about the basic concepts. I give you a lot more than the basic concepts. However, I don't, you know, I don't expect everybody to master this stuff the first time through, and I give you a lot more information than you're going to need. But go through very slowly, step by step. And don't skip around. There are a lot of people in the courses that think, oh, I can do a little bit here, a little bit there, I can move forward. This really proceeds in a specific uh, order. And in a lot, I, I, I was going to use, I, I was hesitating with using the logical. Please proceed in that order. And if you notice, here is characteristic of what it's going to look like. The first item is going to be a PDF file containing the slides discussed and then going through. Number three, I think I'm up to. Don't do this when you're tired and when you're exhausted. I know a lot of my students work full time. They have to do this on the side. These sections are one to do when you are clear-headed. I'll give you an example. Last semester, 
Uh, I had a case where I was sitting there trying to grade essays on exam, and I had promised the students that they were going to have it by the next day. Uh, and what happened was I sat there and I was thinking to myself, I, I began seeing that I was really tired. I was starting to fall asleep. And I said, gee, I'm not going to be fair. So I quickly trotted out an apology to the students that I was not going to make my deadline, but explained to them that I'd rather do this when I'm clear headed uh, and I can be fair in grading and give you good feedback than when I'm exhausted and falling asleep reading them. Uh, the same applies to you guys, especially in this section of the course, but oftentimes in the course in general. It's a thinking course. It's hard to do this when you're exhausted and you can't rush through this. So please take it step by step. If you come up with, if, as you're reading through the slides, if there's something in a particular slide you don't understand, you can send me an email. If you're on Slack, you can put a Slack message. Make sure that you, know, you hear from me at least at some point because sometimes we have some of your classmates think that they're really good at this and they give you a lot of advice and it ends up that the advice is not correct. And now finally, let me tell you, I've been doing this, let me see, for how many years? For, over, for, for almost 50 years I've been doing this stuff. Guys, I still make mistakes when I'm not taking it slowly and I'm not thinking clearly. Therefore, take your time, go through it slowly, ask questions, get on Slack, raise the questions for your classmates. I should put a week up. Maybe I will put a leak. Uh, a, you know, maybe I'll just put on an all the Slack accounts. Give me a day or two today. Uh, it's Thursday now, so I might not get there till Monday. Till Monday, excuse me. But just put some questions up there or send me an email. I can always put together a quick video to answer your questions or set up a conference uh, about the questions you're having. Well, good luck. Take your time. The more you learn, the more you're going to find out this is practical because you reason in all of your courses. We're the, in philosophy, we're the only course where we hone in on the techniques. So take your time, go through it. Good luck. Any questions, send me an email.